Welcome to this demonstration of the Syntellect Communications Portal. The Syntellect Communications Development Portal is an open, standards-based platform with integrated application development and management components that significantly reduce the time, cost, and complexity of creating voice solutions. Syntellect Communications Portal provides a bridge between legacy systems and new innovative voice solutions, allowing customers to leverage prior investments in hardware, software, and solution development while providing a smooth migration path to new standards and emerging technologies. Using Syntellect Communications Portal, developers can create a wide range of voice solutions that have unmatched flexibility and offer broad support for these standards and technologies, including voice XML, speech recognition, VoIP, and web services. In the Syntellect Studio, all technologies needed are provided as graphical building blocks in these drop-down menus. There are blocks for the integration with databases such as Oracle or SQL Server. To ensure a smooth integration with enterprise business logic and information systems, all leading datacom technologies have been integrated as building blocks in the platform. This includes technologies such as TCP IP, UDP, LDAP, SNMP, RADIUS, and web services, negating the need to do coding and thereby minimizing cost and time to market. All the speech and telephony functions are found here. You can answer or make calls and interact with the caller regardless of whether your application is using SIP, ISDN, SS7, or some other protocol. Voice XML can be integrated as part of the application or run directly in the Syntellect Communications server. There are blocks for fax and conferencing. When using text-to-speech or speech recognition with any of the leading speech engines supported, it's also possible to leverage functionality such as natural language or dynamic grammar. Advanced users can always go under the hood. As an example, these blocks allow any type of SIP messages to be sent or received by the application. In addition, there's a full integration with Syntellect CT Connect, the world's leading CTI software for controlling PBXs and enabling the creation of large contact centers. Moving on, we find blocks for sending email using SMTP and for downloading email using POP3. IMAP enables integration with email servers such as the Microsoft Exchange email server. Here again, there are blocks for the advanced users enabling them to go to the underlying level without leaving the graphical environment. In the next menu, we find blocks for managing, opening, reading and writing in files, for converting image and audio files, and for working with HTML and XML documents. Other standards supported are HTTP and FTP. If any integration technology is missing, it is always possible to incorporate existing objects, such as DLLs, into the application or create new objects using standard development languages such as C, Delphi, or VB. In the area of security, there is speaker verification, with technologies from Nuance, and cryptography, enabling encryption of files and so forth. To create an application, we start by waiting for a call. Once a call comes in, we would like to interact with the caller. To enable this, we add a play menu block. In this block, we can define what prompts to play to the caller, be it pre-recorded files or text-to-speech. For the interaction, we can either use DTMF or speech recognition, choosing whatever speech engine we so prefer. On the tests page, we can define what we expect to receive from the caller. Maybe the caller enters one, or maybe he enters two, or maybe he says operator in order to be connected to an agent. Closing this block, we can see that one, two, and operator are added as optional outputs. If the caller presses 1, we may want to record him. 
convert that recording to an MP3, and then send it by email to someone. To enable this, we add a record block. Then, add an audio file convert block to convert the file to MP3. And finally, we add an SMTPS end block for the delivery. In this block, we can define what email server to use, who to send it to, what to attach, etc. All parameters in all blocks can be defined dynamically with information collected from the caller, from the environment, or from any information system available on the network. If the caller says operator, we may want to identify him based on his A number before transferring the call. This information could, for example, be stored in a .NET-based CRM system available through web services. To organize our application while we add this web services integration, we create a new so-called subroutine, which we name check underscore CRM. In this subroutine, we can add as many blocks as we wish. In this case, we only add one block for the .NET integration. It can easily be configured to connect to the remote CRM system, send the A number, and get the customer profile in return, negating the need for any type of SOAP or other coding. We connect the web services block to the beginning and end of the subroutine and move back to the main part of our voice application. When the caller says operator, we can now use the check underscore CRM block in order to connect to the CRM system using web services before we transfer the call. If the caller presses 2, we can perhaps download some voice XML code from a remote URL and render whatever service that that voice XML script defines using any speech engine we so prefer. The voice XML document downloaded could be generated using Sintelect Voice XML Studio or any other voice XML authoring tool. This is how speech, voice over IP, datacom, Database and web technologies can be used in any combination in order to create any type of voice solutions. For more information about the Sintelect Communications Portal, please contact Sintelect or one of our local resellers.